shout out to sponsor the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good Fellow One Boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. LeBron is out here sending messages to the Lakers and Magic Johnson telling them that he wants Anthony Davis. It would be great to play with him. And he's also always wanted to play with Carmelo Anthony. We back. Good fellow Sports TV. We in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in one time for the one time we grinding. Don't forget, you can find us on social media, Facebook or Twitter. Both links in the description. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell icon button, all right? All that good stuff. And um, uh, before the game last night, um, and I think after the game last night, before the game, he let everybody know that it would be uh he will all he would love to play with uh he said it'd be incredible to play with Anthony Davis, okay? Said it'd be incredible, that's what he wants. Uh you know, his team uh uh is the uh you know is uh, Anthony Davis agent as well. So um it's been talks of Boston heating up, um, trying to gear up and go after Anthony Davis. Um so you know, I think, you know, after a loss last night, you know, it was a good – I mean, I ain't going to say it was a good loss. I mean, that was a good game in Brooklyn last night. A fan ran up on LeBron. He, he just took a picture with her, man. It was no harm, no foul. Uh, he was real gracious in defeat. Uh, they played a great game. Lonzo played a good game. It just wasn't good enough. And I think now that things are heating up for the Lakers, man, as far as, you know, it's time to get trades. Trades can go through now for, for players that signed this summer, this past Saturday. Now LeBron is being more vocal – on what he wants, and he's going through the media, and I'm pretty sure behind closed doors, he's putting pressure on them. He really want to play with Carmelo Anthony, and I think they should let it happen. What's the worst that can really happen? You see, he got a minimum deal. You can sign him to a better minimum if Houston release him. If he don't work out, you can cut him. You know, if LeBron can't get him to play, or if he can't, fit, you know, funk sway with a uh, Golden State Warriors, I mean, he, he don't deserve to be in the league no more. You know, um, seeing to be back on speaking terms with his wife after what they went through. Um, like I said, LeBron said it would be amazing. That would be incredible to play with Anthony Davis. Th- these are not him just saying this to the media to say it to the media. We all know this. This is him putting public pressure on Magic Johnson and the Lakers, Jeannie Buss and Rob Palenka and them to go make it happen. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to come out here and say Kuzma trash or Lonzo trash, which the Lakers are gelling better. But I don't I don't think LeBron has two to three years for for them to adjust to him fully and they're adjust to him better than I thought they were as ahead of the curve. And that must be a credit to Luke Jackson doing a wonderful job. But he don't have two to three years to wait for them to adjust to him and then them develop into the players they can become. And then they got to implement Brandon Ingram back into the fold. And that could just mess up all the progress they made, all the confidence Lonzo made, all the, pro- all the progress Kuzma's made and stepped up and been the Robin to LeBron's Batman when Ingram hadn't, and then also you got to worry about Rondo mentally messing uh, messing with Lonzo because Rondo went to the G League. He's on his way back. So at the end of the day, uh, I think the Lakers will be wise. You know, even before Christmas, I know how close it is to Christmas. Um, to go out there and, and, and make a move for Anthony Davis, man, make an incredible move. And I think people say they should go ahead and um, even throw in Kuzma in the trade, man. That's tough, man. Kuzma's playing so well with LeBron. It's hard to find a fit to play with LeBron like Kuzma's playing, man. Um, you know, only way I'll trade in Kuzma if I can get uh, Miritich, you know what I'm saying? But the reason Melo it comes into the fold, because if they actually go after Anthony Davis, they're going to have some holes there because they possibly can give up Ingram, Lonzo, and Hart, and possibly Kuzma as well. They might bring back Etwan Moore and Ian Clark. But they have a they have a hole once you trade Brandon Ingram. You're gonna need a three. Even if it's a three to come off the bench. You know, you don't really want to make Lance your full time three. Okay. So um that's what it is. This is LeBron putting public pressure on Magic Johnson, Rob Link, and Jeannie Buss to go get a player that he know they need, man. And I think um it's be a Justin Pierre for Anthony Davis. I think Davis, it is some asterisks by Davis when to go trade for him. He physically needs to get stronger. You know, he can go out there and be injured for 20, 30 games, and then you, then what you got? So you got to think about that, man. You got to think about a maintenance plan for him. And uh, for Melo, it's, it's a high risk for him as well, too. But guess what? It's high reward. Because guess what? I mean, well, low risk because you can get rid of him, you know? 
Melo could be gone like be gone like that. You know, so at the end of the day, I think it's all contingent. Melo coming there, them trading for Anthony Davis, losing assets, needing to replenish them assets. But I believe this is LeBron putting public pressure on Magic. I think he went behind closed doors and told Magic, Rob Palenka, Jenny Buss what should happen. Um, he he made the Tyson Chandler thing come through. The reason they didn't get a reason, if you didn't catch my videos, is because the Suns owner blocked it because him and James Jones is cool. He wasn't going to continue to help the Lakers and LeBron James win crap. So he blocked Ariza going to the Lakers. That's why Ariza went out to the Wizards, you feel me? So, hey, that is what it is, man. But, um, you know, make sure you check out for us. I'm going to link both articles in the description uh, so you won't know I'm lying. I always source my, uh, my links, always source my sources, man. It's very important not to push out fake news, man. Uh, but make sure you check us out on Facebook and Twitter. We got a Facebook group. You can DM me on our social media platforms or email me. Business inquiry, sponsorships, questions. You need to start a channel. I do help people start channels out. Um, also, we'll make a donation to the channel. That's there as well. Um, you know, and keep looking out for us. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. And make sure starting tomorrow, you get 18% off at thehealthblaze.com. They sponsor Goodfellas Sports TV. Um, check them out, man. They got all natural products, hair pomade, uh, natural deodorant, natural toothpaste, bath bombs, foot soaks. At really, really good prices. And you get 18% off using my promo code, promo code goodfellow one boxing All the information, website, and promo code is in the description. Starting Thursday, December 20th. Use that promo code and get 18% off with additional discounts on their website. But it's Goodfellow Sports TV. Your boy CJ Goodfellow. Everybody be safe. One time for the one time. We gone.